yo what's up everybody how's everybody doing thanks for stopping by <laughs> what's up everybody give me one second here I am just let me lower this music I am just uh, looking for something that I used to have on here before and now I don't have it it's kind of getting me upset <laughs> uh, stream items maybe yep nope that wasn't it so you guys know what fix your trick is you guys know what's going on oh this is what it is okay okay I'm, I'm gonna be adding something right now to the stream <laughs> cheers from Canada what's up Derek and Ricardo sniper Ryan Jonathan a Kirkpatrick. You gotta say the whole name with a name like that. India, wow. Well, thanks for chilling. Hypoxic, what's up, bro? How's everything? So I didn't really announce this, I just kinda did it on the fly. So if you're here, you're here. If you're not, well then you gotta pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so I'm gonna add something real quick to the stream. Media source. Mm. I guess we'll put it in there. Oh, it's what? It's already in there. Look at me. You got piano lessons in five minutes. Who plays the piano anymore? <laughs> That's awesome, man. I wish I knew how to play the piano, to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to set something to loop for a minute. Yep. Cool. Filters here. Chroma key. Done. Scale this bad boy down. Yeah, so that is the automatic like thing. So here's what I'm gonna ask, man. If you guys like what I do here, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah, After Effects. Come to Paris tomorrow. I'm down. I'm 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 on my way. <laughs> to Paris right now. <laughs> yeah. So, this is Fix Your Trick. Uh, obviously, on the little TV screen, uh, I have the Reddit up. And if you don't know what that is, I have a subreddit called Fix Your Trick, where you can submit videos, and I will jump on this live stream, and I will actually live coach ways for you to get better at the thing that you post, and if I have anything to say about it. Um, so... If you want the link for that, that's in the description below. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you know what? I want to do something real quick. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So. Oh, yeah, well. Uh, no, I'm not going to Blackpool next month. I'm going to Magi Fest next week. So I'll be in Ohio next week for Magi Fest. So if you're going to go there, it should be fun. And yeah. So before we start, do you guys have any questions? Anything you want to talk about quickly? Anything like that? Because once we start, it's going to be a serious. You know what I'm saying? Mad serious. Any chance I'm going to Kansas? I probably won't be going to Kansas. <laughs> How do you minimize motion on the Cardini pass for the disappearing card? Are you talking about the Cardini change? And if you want to minimize... Okay, so let's just do this quick then. Overhead. Okay. So I had to change my camera, so it's a little bit of a crappier camera, but you can get the point. So the Cardini change is usually this thing. 
if you just get a little thumb break you don't need a big one just a tiny break it actually makes it easier so that there's a little tip for you for that <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not going to Blackpool. A few words on Di Verone. I don't even know who that is. I don't know who Di Verone is. So I'm not going to comment on him. I'm sure he's a great person. <laughs> but I don't know who Di Verone is. So yeah. Let's see. Quick question. Best books to get. Heard a lot of, heard a lot of good about card college. Is it worth it though? It's so expensive. It's what you get out of it, man. It's about the work you're going to put into it, if you put any work into it at all. Buying a book is not going to give you good magic. It's not going to teach you good magic. So, it's about the work you're willing to put in. I have not watched Delp. Uh, am I going to Syracuse? I have no plans for Syracuse. Tips on the Downs Palm. Alright. So, here's the only thing I could tell you about the Downs Palm. I see a lot of people do this, where they hold it like this, and then they go into Downs Palm. I think that's really crappy. I think that's a bad way to do it. So, if you just balance it on your middle finger, and then pull it in, you can go right into Downs Palm from there. You don't need to start this. So, you just go here, to there, and now it's in Downs Palm. Okay. So, play with that. What do you think about V2 first playing card? I think they're dope. What about Nook Magic is dead? I don't I don't even know what that means. Top palm, false steel. Yeah, I could do false steals. Is magic is the magic way worth getting? Wants hammeries. Anything by wants hammeries is worth getting. And he'll be at Magi Fest. So if you're at Magi Fest, he'll be there. Do you have tips on a pinky count? I think I actually have a video on the pinky count. Where can I learn Marlowe's Future Reverse? If you want to learn the original Future Reverse, I believe it's in Marlowe's Revolutions. Uh, but if you want to learn the one that I do, I have it published on Magic Stream on Illusionist. Under my uh, Series of Mysteries video. Do you meet in Buffalo once a year? There's a convention in Buffalo that I usually go to. I didn't go last year. I might go this year. It really depends on how things go. But that uh, it's called the Buffalo 52 Gathering. So that's what that is. I guess like a bottom deal. How do you catch a card from a top shot? Practice. I can't even do a top shot well. I started magic and collecting thanks to you, Chris, and Pandre. You're such an inspiration. Much love from an Italian medical student. Well, good luck, man. Medical school is not easy. Sankey teamed up with Card Shuffler 99. Good for him. Uh, you're going to buy me a drink at... Oh, Casero, what's up, dude? <laughs> Sarenko on Cards Future Reverse. Uh, okay. I don't know. Uh, what's your favorite Erdnase technique? I don't know, that's a weird question. Can you give a tip for the bluff pass? I actually did a whole video on the bluff pass with Alex Pandrea. So, you can go look at that. My laser deal looks a little unnatural. Got any tips for that? Yeah. Uh, realize that there's nothing you're going to do in Magic that's natural. Just make it look comfortable. Get comfortable with your slights. Not natural, no such thing. What do you think is the best cups and ball routine? Uh, I like two of them. One of them is Suzanne the Magician's Cups and Balls. I think that was a dope one. And I generally like the way David Williamson does his two cups and I think grapes or strawberry routine, whatever that is. Yep, the master classes. It's a it's a work in progress, man. Like it's the reason why I haven't said anything about the master class really is because it takes a lot of work. I got a lot of notes, a lot of looking things up, making sure of things, lighting, filming, editing, you know, it's it's a lot. So I'm working on it. It'll come. <laughs> Be patient with me. I'm a one man band, so I do all the filming, all the editing and, and everything. I have not checked out more 
Mort Mueller's retention vanish, but I'm sure it's awesome because that kid is dope. Okay, so let's get to the Reddit. So, like I said, if you don't know the Reddit, it is uh, backslash fix your trick, Y E R T R I C K. So, you can go there and you can submit things. And uh, I, I literally just go through the list, I, I don't skip things around, I go one by one and uh, try to help out where I feel I can. So, let's do that now. Let's go to the overhead game. And here we are. We are here. So, we have here a transpo idea using interesting slides. Do I have my... Oh, you know what I don't have? Okay. I know what I don't have here. Let's go here. Properties. Uh, Recomp, refair. Yeah, is that the one? Close. I don't know. I'm trying to get rid of the background buzz. So just bear with me. This is it. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, mode. Okay. So that should be better. Who is the Ace of Spades in the 52? I believe it is Troy. I believe Troy is the Ace of Spades. So anyway, so we have a transfer idea using a couple of slides. And I haven't seen this video at all, so we're watching it together for the first time. And let's see what we got here. Morning, everyone. This is going to be the first look at the back transfer window it's going to go through the back and i'm going to find myself a joker this is going to act as a marker for later on in the effect to make it a bit easier to see something all right so i've got the joker to find our selection now this is going to be the a yeah, club so okay so we're going to use that we're going to take that a club it's going to leave it just all face down instead of back in the back i'm going to mark it with the joker so we know that the eight is below the joke the face of the joker in the deck now, we've got the eight in the center. We've also got queen on top, okay? So we've got eight and queen. If I push that that eight in nice and slowly, that's when that queen will change the eight. Now, I know what you're thinking. If we put that eight is on top, what is in the center of balance? So if we go through nice and slowly, see no, no sneaky business, find the joker right in the center. And if you were here, you could do this yourself. You could put your fingers, you could pull up on the joker. You see no other cards. Ooh, I was trying to avoid me. You know, cards underneath the joker, apart from one card, a queen, apart from queen, eight. Also okay. To a joker. All right, let, let's start from the top. Now, here's the thing, guys. I want you guys to be a part of this, okay? So, if you see something, if you think something, type it in the chat and, and be part of the discussion, okay? Don't just sit here and, and wait for me. You can do it, too. You can be a part of it. So, jump in the chat. Type what you see, what's going on. And if you have other ideas on things, share them too. Maybe somebody else will get an idea from something that you said. You know, let's all make this part of the fun. So I'm going to start from the beginning. Morning, everyone. This is going to be the first and we'll, we'll go from there. Transpo. When we do, it's going to go through the back. And I'm going to find okay, myself. Okay, so first thing. I don't know if anybody caught it. And I'm going to find my There it is, right there. How do I go back? Can I go back? No, I can't. Back transfer of a joker. So he literally flashes the call. I don't know if you saw that. And I'm gonna find myself right there. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna go too much on the presentation, and and mostly because people are submitting this for help, and I'm gonna go by what I see, not what I think their presentation should be. I'm gonna leave that to them. 
Okay. The audio is hard to hear. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about... Don't even worry about the patter. Like, that's something that... Whatever. You know? Um, okay. So, let's do this. So, here's one of the things that happens with a lot of people. Color. It happens to me sometimes. They go to color card. And since that card has to be separated, they drop their hand. And they drop their hand so far <laughs> that it just kind of flies over. So the way I like to do the call, because a lot of people do it like this, like they have this rip up here and they're calling into here. I, I personally cannot do that. So what I like to do is this. I like to keep my index finger along the front edge of the deck. Let's say the nine I'm going to call. And I call, but I don't use my index finger. I only use the fingers underneath it. So that if I do happen to flash, if I do happen to drop my hand a little bit, the index finger is covering that card. It's just something I do. Uh, I'm not saying it's the best solution, but it helps me out. So step one, don't flash the cull. <laughs> okay? And basically, if, if I were to start drawing here, it, it literally just popped out right here. Hold on. Why isn't this working? Hmm. A joker. This is. Was this it? Is this why? Oh, this is weird. It's not working now. Oh, now it works. That's weird. Okay. So. Okay, so you would, you know, if you, if you were watching the video close, you'd literally see a card pop out, like, right there. <laughs> it's weird. Cool. So, that's step one. All right, let's keep going. This is going to act as a marker for later on in the effect. Now, this is a weird moment, okay? I don't know why this was the solution to reversing a card but you show a card then you flip the entire pack just to pull that one card over i don't know i thought it was weird i think there's better ways to do it but whatever not a big deal all right so go joker okay so you know just these little things all these little things will change your magic okay if you're going to slide a card over from the bottom of the deck he's obviously doing a get ready here right so he puts his hand here he's pushing this card over and now he's spreading so that this card gets loosened right this card at the bottom here's what i suggest learn how to buckle the bottom card so you hold the card in mechanics grip your middle finger is going to touch the corner you're going to buckle that card in a little bit and then extend and that releases the card now you don't have to grab push and then do this to get into that same position okay so you're here you just come to here as you're spreading you don't have to do it right away you can buckle as you go okay you see the card buckling out there <laughs> so i'm trying to do it so you can see it and now you're in the same position right now you can do whatever you want from there okay so there's lots of different techniques or you can just have a break on the card and now you spread through, and since you have a break, that card's naturally separated, and you can pull that card out. Okay? So, uh, no, I'm not doing any performances right now. I am helping you guys with your magic. No performances. Morning, everyone. This is oh, geez, the boy. effect. Make it Here easier to see something. Alright, so I've got the Joker. We find our selection now. This is going to be the yeah, air club spray. Okay. So we're going to use that. We're going to take that air club. We're going to leave it just all face down, center of the back in the back. Yeah, that's and right. We're going to mark it with a joker. So we know that the eight is below the joker, the face of the joker in the deck. Now we've got the eight in the center. We've also got queen on top. Okay. So we've got eight and a queen. If I push that that eight in nice and slowly, that's when that queen will change the eight. Yeah, that's fine. Now I know what you're thinking. It's actually really nice. If, if that ace is on top, oh, 
Okay, here we go. KM move time. KM move time. KM move time. So what is the problem that a lot of people have with the KM move? By the way, KM is Krenzel Marlowe. The Krenzel Marlowe move. Yes, it was sloppy. So here's the problem. He's trying to ditch a card, right? That's on the back of this one. So he's doing this, right? Now, what happens a lot of times is exactly what you see there. They hold it so far out and they begin the spread, the, the split this way. And then they separate and pull the card out. Big problem. So here's kind of how I've dealt with that. Uh, the first thing is bring the pack closer to the double. Okay. So this is here. You're here. All you have to do is bring it. You don't have to move anything yet. Just bring your hand to there. And now your fingers are going to pull this top card back a little bit. So my hand is here. But the fingers, you know, just pretend I'm holding it here and face down. The fingers pull back a little bit. Now the hand pulls and comes out. So that this card, the, if it does pop out, it doesn't pop out this way, like this. It pops out back here. You see how hidden that is? It's almost like a glide. So you come here. Done. Okay. And I'll do it face up so you can see it. You come here. Oh, sorry, camera uh, unfocused. So you just come here. See that? You, there's no flash that way. So you're just kind of snapping the card instead of not doing anything with the card and doing that weird move. All right. So something to think about. If the, if the ace is on top, what is in the center of pack? Yeah. You see. So he's just kind of doing the move. But there's, it's just this weird, right? So he's here, and then he's just kind of like, he's doing it just to do it to get rid of the card. Okay? But you don't need to do that. You can take your time with it, and then you come up to here, right? Pull that in. Yeah, he forgot to snap. It doesn't matter if he snaps. So you're just going to come here to there, and I like to snap the card. Because then at least there's a reason for my hands to come together. You know, just here. Done. Okay. So let's keep going. Morning, everyone. This is going to be a joke the face. Just see most, most of the time. And if you were here, you could do this yourself. You could take your oh, wait. That's when that queen will change there is. the ace. Now, I know what you're thinking. If, the, if that ace is on top, what is in the center of the pack? So if we go through, nice and slowly. Okay, so now again, you saw the call flash. Find the joker right. right in the center. And if you were here, you could do this yourself. You could take your fingers, you could pull up on the joker. You could see no other cards. No one's trying to annoy for me. See no cards underneath the joker, apart from one card. A queen, heart. Queen, ace, or face to a joker. Hope you guys like it. Also, that was great. That was a great closer to the effect. The cards just kind of go everywhere. Little tip on the cards going everywhere, though. It's kind of nice if you just dribble it. You know, just give it a little dribble instead so that the cards fan out a little bit more. Uh, but all, in all seriousness, I, I don't think the effect is bad. I think you, you, it's super new. You need to watch your handling. You need to watch your flashes. And I think uh, it could be a good effect. Just give more reason to why your hands are even moving in the first place. Sorry, guys. Talked about in recent stream. Comment. Bam. Okay, next. Let's go to the next one. Roast my rise. Obviously, this... <laughs> Uh, 
All right, let's get let's get to it. Those are nice cards. <laughs> I like those cards. Okay. Well, that didn't get the last one. Didn't get the last one, but that's all right. Um, I tell you what, let's leave this open to the chat. What do you guys think about his raise rise? And what do you think he can improve? Let's do that. Pinky count could be hidden better, sure. What else? It's good until the end, sure. Okay. But, you know, it, obviously the guy can do it. So, let's let's talk about what's not happening or what he or what he could do better. The first jog is super obvious. What do you mean? A little bit farther out. Yeah, I agree. I think the card should be a little bit farther out. The motion should be better. Um, I think the motion should be smoother. Uh, I think he's a little stiff with the wrist, but that's fine. He's He's obviously getting it, and that's a good thing. That move is called the Ambitious Riser. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I think uh, in general, when people get to this point, the, the things that they need to improve are so minor with this effect. Uh, no, I'm not going to teach it. I teach it. If you want to learn it, I sell it on my website, Lost Art Magic. You can go there and learn it. It's called Xavier's Rise. Um, Ray Cosby originally came up with the original handling, which he graciously gave to me. So the way that I do it is a little bit different than his. I teach my version, I teach his version, and it's on that as well as a few other effects that use the Ambitious Riser. Uh, so there you go, a little plug. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the double lift too needs to be a little bit less uh, robotic, but other than that, it's not terrible. I think you're on the right train. It's getting really close. You're almost, you're almost there. All right, uh, not really, not much to say about this. All right, what else we got here next? I wanted to show you guys a quick magic trick using this Rubik's Cube. Oh. All right. Hey guys, good afternoon. I wanted to show you guys a quick magic trick using this Rubik's Cube. Uh, it's not going to be a, how fast I can solve it or anything like that. It's hey guys, good afternoon. I wanted to show you guys a quick magic trick using this Rubik's Cube. Uh, it's not going to be a, how fast I can solve it or anything like that. It's that was pretty cool. Something different. Um, we're gonna use this Rubik's cube and this bag right here. Yeah. <laughs> you could you could almost tell so that he's guilty is, just by the way he looked at around. Any of the six colors here, and whatever color you think of, I'm gonna make it disappear. All right. So we have a green, we have red, we have blue, we have orange. We have the yellow, and lastly, we have the white. So think of any of the six colors, and whatever color you think of, I'm going to make it disappear, all right? So you thought of one already? Okay. Oops. That's cool. I think, I think the idea is cool. Uh, but let's go back. Be able to solve it or anything. Like What's that. this? What's this? It's gonna be something different. 
Um, we're gonna use this Rubik's cube and this bag right here. There's there right there. This right here is the look of guilt. Okay, this is what gets magicians caught more than anything. This look right here. Okay. <laughs> oh. So, uh, 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 oh, what's up, Pig Cake? Pig Cake, I gotta talk to you, man. Dude, your video. <laughs> You're a legend, bro. You're a legend. Poggers all the way. Uh, so, this, this right here, right? If you can get away from this, you can get away with more of your magic. A lot of times when people start doing things where they have to steal something. So I'm, so what happened here is I'm not going to give away the method, okay? But he's adding something. And as he's adding it, he feels guilty. He's not comfortable with it. He feels guilty about it. So he looks to a person that he thinks caught him and he makes that face. All right, that's number one. That's the big no-no. Do not do this. Fight the urge to catch yourself. Just keep going, man. Just keep going. It's not that, you know, not that serious. But let's keep going. All right, so what we're going to do is... Now, personally, from here, I wouldn't... Oh, Captain No Soul, thank you for the follow, sir. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's on Twitch. Ah, well, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Um, I wouldn't put the bag down. I don't think there's a need to put the bag down. You pick it up, you open it up, put the thing in, do, and keep it moving. Because now there's too much of this back and forth. When you're already there, in my opinion. You're gonna think of any of the six colors here, and whatever color you think of, I'm gonna make it disappear. All right, so we have the green, we have red, we have blue, we have orange, we have the yellow, and lastly, we have the white. So think of any of the six colors, and whatever color you think of, I'm gonna make it disappear, all right? So I thought of one already. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I think it's fine. Just don't don't get yourself caught up in uh, feeling guilty. I think I think that is the biggest piece of advice I could have for this effect. And Mateo, thank you for the sub, brother. So. Bam. Comment. Who is Dive Vernon? Vernon? <laughs> you spelled Vernon wrong, <laughs> Justin. And you know you did. <laughs> uh, some visual stuff. Let's check out this one. Yeah, these things look so good. I love it. I love I love stuff like that. It just goes against your thinking when you're thinking about a gimmick. And I think, uh, honestly, who, who was the person that came up with this? I think it was Kalen Morelli. It was either Kalen Morelli or Nicholas Lawrence. One of those guys. I'm going to say Kalen. Which is so good. Look at that. Bam. Yeah. Looks great. 
It looks great. Yeah. I mean, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. This is good. Not really not much to talk about because it's one of those things that's kind of automatic. It was Nicholas Lawrence? Okay, it was Nicholas Lawrence. I'm going to take your word for it. Impaled by Nicholas Lawrence. All right, cool. Okay, so here we go. What the hell? Is there any audio on this? No. What in the hell? These kinds of controls always screw me up, man. I don't understand them. I don't know why people do them. Okay, there's a control. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think there's a need for it, man. That's by Justin Miller. I'd have to see Justin do it. I mean, I know Justin can pull off some stuff, but I just personally don't like controls like that. Like, you're reaching so far just to do a double, you know, that I think I think a lot of times people forget what the purpose of a double lift is or or even a control, right? A lot of these, you're, these aren't supposed to be spectacle moments. They're just supposed to be forgotten. They see a card and then they forget that anything else happens. And when you start putting all these hand dances in, I think, uh, I think you're missing the point, personally. And why even shuffle at that point, to be honest? Like, that's another thing. You're putting a card in the middle. It's lost, right? Why do you have to shuffle? You're just adding all this extra stuff for no reason. I don't know. I don't think uh, there's a need for it. I, but I do. if I'm going to help this particular move... I, I would say, first of all, get that double to not split and flash. Second of all, when you're separating the double to do this to do the uh, the thing, the the swivel, I guess. Uh, get it, it just ha this kind of move has to be done smooth, and it's obvious that you're still working on it. So just keep working on it, get it nice and smooth, and get it to be one of those things where you just kind of forget that the move's happening, and then I think it'll be better. But uh, otherwise, I I personally don't like this move. Um, what's getting annoying, Truzy? What's getting annoying? Now I want to see. See, here's the thing, guys. I'm here to, to, to work on something with you guys on this Reddit. If you guys don't like this, you're more than welcome to not watch it or to not be a part of it. That's your choice. But this is what I'm deciding to do. So if you don't like this, dude, I'm sorry. That's not my problem. Oh, okay. Truzy. My bad then. Yeah, don't don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Let them let them ask. I'm like I said, I'm focused on this. I'm doing this. It's okay. Yeah, don't e don't even worry about it, man. It's all good. He wants to start a magic channel. Let him start a magic channel. You know, I could give all the advice on starting a channel, but none of it matters unless you do it. So, there you go. That's the best thing I could give you. 
All right, let's uh, let's move on. Oh, here we go. Is this the sick controller? Just a I, I randomly, I found this randomly on YouTube. Thanks for letting me know where it comes from. I see he has a way to bring it to the top without all the extra BS. I'll certainly check it out again. Okay, well, there you go. Guess it's Justin Miller's. He was just in here. Alright, next. Hello. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Okay. Just a little transfer, I guess. Um. So. Personally. Uh, I don't think there's a need to hold it in a snap change position. I don't. Uh, you can use the deck. You don't need to. So let me show you. So instead of uh, doing the double, putting the deck down, you know, because you're dribbling it, and then doing all this to get into position, why not keep the deck there? And then do a one-handed second deal. So you show a card, you do a double. You turn this over, right? And now you come to here, and now you can drop off. And now you're you're in that same position, right? Because now you can just do this. Or whatever, add the rest of the deck. Put it under the box. And then show the, the, the Joker, right? And then do the transfer. Uh, personally. I don't think necessarily starting here and then coming to there to dump onto the deck is is, is the right move. Uh, so the way it looks like, it looks like you had a a uh, a move and you reverse, you tried to fix the problem backwards by saying, okay, I end up in this position. So if I dump cards here, then it's easier to clean up. Um, but the, the cleanup doesn't necessarily make it good. And I think you should rethink the initial part of the double lift. The rest of it is fine. You know, obviously you know how to do a double lift, which is nice. But I, I don't think any of that other stuff is really necessary in the beginning. So think about that. Think about how you're starting it first. Think about how it looks, how it feels. And I, you want to know something? I think a lot of you guys forget this. I think... I think a lot of you guys forget that when you're doing magic, when you're performing, when you're doing your slights, whatever it is, the way in which you do it, how you look when you're doing it matters just as much as how it looks when it's done, right? So you can see somebody do a really good slight. You're like, wow, that was awesome. And then you see somebody else do it, but there's something missing. They're too stiff, they're too robotic, it doesn't look comfortable, it looks weird in their hands, whatever it is, right? Everybody's seen that. So, everything else was fine, but that first moment where you do this, that is probably the worst part of the entire thing you're doing. You get it? And I know you're in the chat, Dominic. That's you. So, Dominic, what do you think of that? Like, watching yourself, you know, watching yourself. Let's, uh, let's do this. Watch yourself again and tell me what you think of it.
What do you think? Oh, it's not you? Oh, I thought you said it's you. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I heard you say that's you earlier. Okay. Well, cool. What, is, what do all the rest of you think about that? Doesn't that feel like a weird moment? That feels like such a weird placement. Oh, you were in the discussion. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. My bad, brother. My bad, Dominic. Yeah. So, other than that, I think the rest of it was fine. All right, let's move on. We'll do a couple of more. Uh, you know, I'm going to be honest. At one point, I was actually going to just try to stick to one thing and, and like make it this whole big thing, but I, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> uh, center double could work. Yeah, center double could work. Dominic, take care, man. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. So let's watch this right here. Any audio? No. Look good. Look good. Look, look good to me. I mean, I could get super nitpicky with it if you want, but I don't think there's necessarily a need. Blind overhead shuffle. Good. False cut. Cool. Nice, nice steal. Yeah, it was fine, dude. I think, <laughs> yeah, it's fine, you know? It looked fine to me, man. I don't think, uh, you know, if anything, I would probably get rid of those that weird kind of hand thing in the beginning where it's like, just do it, right? Cut the cards, pick it up, just wave your hand, bang, whatever. I think it's fine. Looked a quite nice. Working on my raise rise. Another person working on raise rise. Let's do it. Oh, got the kick out. Nice. Okay. We got to work on that uh, Stuart Gordon double a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timing's a bit off. Oh, 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 the split. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, cool. All right, moment of truth. Oh, oh, that get ready. Uh, uh, oh, boy. Okay. Oh, and too many times. Too many times. I think three times before it gets to the top is too much. So let's... All right. We're going to go heavy into this. So, problem number one. You haven't done the Stuart Gordon double and the Injogs enough where you can do them without thinking. That is step one. You have to practice those moves so much 
so much that you don't even think about it. So here's what I'm saying. So I'm going to get the, the double. So double, right? Cool. Uh, double lift. Now I'm going to lift it off the deck. And as I lift it off the deck, I'm going to talk. And as I'm talking, I'm getting my, my, my in jogs. Okay. So it's not something that you, this happens when you're uncomfortable getting the in jogs too. So you do the Stuart Gordon double and then this hand becomes a clamp and you try to put this in front of their eyes so that you're masking what's going on here and you look super awkward. So you want to be able to do this in a way that uh, is, is comfortable. So you're just talking, say, you know, blah, blah, blah. The reason why you can't see it is because it's face down, square with the deck. Now you see, I'm moving my hands as this is happening, as I'm getting my in jugs. And only two. Only two in jugs. I'm not getting three and then the top card. Two in jugs. So now you're here, uh, and now you can do now you can do the rest, right? So you can come here. And then you could start the rising. Now, the other part is, once you start doing the rising, you don't want to do this. This right here is the giveaway, right? So. You have the card sticking out. Rise, 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 right? That's all you need. Uh, is it me or do most magicians pinch the double too hard when they turn it over? They either pinch it too hard or they hold it for too long. So you'll see a lot of this. Uh, they'll, they pinch it because they're scared of the card separating. So they pinch super hard or they do this thing, right? They bring it all the way over because they're scared of whatever. So, right? Like you don't need to. <laughs> do any of that anyway you're right they just need to relax but guys please stop saying so that it looks natural please stop saying so that it looks natural there is nothing natural about turning over a card nothing there's nothing natural about cutting cards about handling them what you can do is look comfortable with whatever slight you're doing. So if the slight you're doing happens to be a double lift, the more comfortable you are with it, the more it'll flow. That flow is what people call natural, but it's not natural. There's nothing biological or organic about handling a deck of cards. Nothing. I think I do have the 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 uh Stuart Gordon double on, on the channel somewhere. I don't want to say I do though for sure. There you go. There you go. Random random Mac said that it's in my uh three moves every card magician should know. So you can go check that out. Thank you, random Mac. Thank you. Alright, so so that's step one. Get used to this double lift. And get used to the in jugs. Okay. And, that, and of course, don't split your doubles. <laughs> yeah, right there. Right there. There it is. There's the enemy, boys. This is the bad guy. That get ready. I can't tell you how long it took me to stop doing that. And it was really once... If you if you saw the explanation for Ray's Rise or Xavier's Rise, uh, I go into how to avoid that. So I, if you do have it, watch that part over. I have not seen it, Stefan. Sorry. All right, so is there anything more in here that I wanted to talk about? I don't think so. Yeah, the other thing is you don't need three in jogs before you get to the top card. That's it. You don't need three. Two is enough. Sometimes one is enough. And that's it. But 
kudos for getting this far. It's not. It took me a long time to get as far as you did. So, kudos to you, man. Oh, oh, I forgot to. I forgot. I forgot the thing. What up, guys? Oh, Welcome no. back. I clicked Today, on the link. What'd you do uh, to me? Anyway. Okay. So that's that. Okay, this video that's next is going to be hilarious, I think. <laughs> what what do you want me to say about this? <laughs> it's a boomerang, man. I'm not even going to comment. Next Um, yeah, I should, right? You're, <laughs> you're right, Bowden. You're right. All right, let's, let's look at this guy. This guy, Mario, always has something dope, to be honest. So let's watch this thing here. Oh, uh-oh. Audio. Okay, so. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> All right. So, I think this is the first time I'm ever going to have something to say about what Mario does. It's probably the only time. So, the these kinds of tricks, right, are awesome, right? Because they're so visual and they just cannot be done with sleight of hand. They cannot. The only way to do something like this is with a gimmick. But this moment right here is the only thing I didn't like. What are you rubbing the hole for? Right? Imagine he did the same thing. Four holes. Now there's one hole. And then he just peels it off. That would have been... That would have ended it for me. I would have ended the stream right there. Like, that's it? This guy is, this guy is on another level. I'm done. But otherwise, it looks good, you know. That's it. There's nothing more to say. Just, I don't, I didn't think there was a need to wipe at the, to take off the hole. Four holes, one hole, you show it. And then as you go to peel the sticker is when you cover and you peel off the sticker and you're gold. That would have destroyed me. But otherwise, looks good. What's today's date? The 11th. Taking your advice. Copy and paste. Let's watch this. And I think this one will be it. Let's see. Maybe not. We'll see. Rid of these gaffs here. So. Hi. 
So the question that I get asked most often, aside from uh, how are you so good looking and uh, how you know what's the meaning of life, is probably uh, how do you get into magic? And it's a very good question because that's the kind of question that I used to ask magicians whenever I would see them. I would say, you know, like oh, that stuff's really cool. But how do you get into it? I really want to learn. And one day one of them answered me. He was a really cool, suave chap, and he said, "Well, you know, it's very very simple. You learn a couple of magic moves." I said, "Magic moves? What's that?" He said. It's easier if I show you. Have you heard the expression, the hand is quicker than the eye? I said, yeah. He said, well, let me show you. So let's just say I take a card, for example, the two of spades, and I'll take another card, let's just say the three of hearts. Put the three of hearts on top of the two of spades. I said, yeah. So the three of hearts is there, two of spades is here. If I do a magic move, watch with empty hands, suddenly they'll switch places. The three of hearts is now here, and the two of spades is over here. I said, oh, that's really cool, but how did you, you know, how'd you do that? He said, well, it's very, very simple. So let's just say we take one card. Oh, actually, this is a little bit easier uh, if we do it with a different colored uh, deck. That way you can, sorry, different colored card. That way you can follow what's going on. So let's just say we'll take one card. Let's just say the, the Eight of Clubs, for instance. And that's the black card. And we'll take another card. Uh, let's just say the Five of Hearts, for instance. And put that over here. So now you take the Eight of Clubs, and I'll take the Five of Hearts. And we'll do that magic move again. And they switch places. And I said, no, they didn't. The black card's still there. Said, you misunderstand me. Because you see now the black card is the five of hearts and the red card is the eight of clubs. So to answer your question, I actually have no idea how to get into magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, forget about the pattern for a minute. How Let's just talk about one that? moment that kept said, well, it's very, very simple. pointing Ball. that kept standing out. Not. So let's just say we'll take one card. Let's just say the the eight of clubs, for instance, and that's the black card. This right here, where he's fumbling around, right. and we'll take another card. Uh, let's just say the five of hearts, for instance. And put that over here. So now you take the eight of clubs, and I'll take the five of hearts. Why? Why, oh why, my friend, are you holding the card here to do a double here? There's no need. Do I have another card around? I do. My old, uh, there we go. What card is this, guys? What card is... Oh, you know what? Here, let's do this. <laughs> what card is this? Oh, no, it's not focusing. Okay, what card is that? Yep, there's a DMCs. What card is that? I can read it from the screen. Ah, oh, it's not the spades. Nope. It tells you... It, it's a mark card. Ace of clubs, that's right. <laughs> All right, so anyway. <laughs> um yeah it was the ace of clubs so if you're going to do a double and this card is going to be put on the table anyway then just put it on the table and while you're putting it on the table you do your get ready for the next one there's no need to keep this card up here and then do this show this here and then come here this is too much too much you're here, you take the card, it goes here, show this, there. As you're getting, as you're putting this down, you do your get ready, you, you turn over the next one, and now you can do your little magic motion or whatever for them to switch. That's it. That's the only thing I have to say about it. Uh, it's a pretty simple routine. I think the pattern is weird. How do I get into magic at the end? I don't know. You just did it twice. Maybe it's a comedy thing. But... I think the funniest thing about the whole routine was uh, <laughs> so, was that he had a trick. He's obviously working on something else, right? Because he has uh, Chris Corn, right? Chris Corn? No, not Chris Corn. Who's the guy that has this trick here? This one. It's not Chris Corn. I have it too. Ugh. But, and then he's got Bill Malone's cards over here. <laughs> I thought that was, 
I thought that was funny. So he's got those things right there. Uh, Professor Kryptonius. I don't like doubles because lay people mostly know the concept of the double. Incorrect, sir. They know your concept of the double because you've probably flashed it to them. However, I do double lifts all the time. And let me tell you something. I never get called on it. Ever, 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 ever get called on a double lift. So if you're getting called out on double lifts, you need to work on your double lift. And I'm around lay people a lot. <laughs> but otherwise, you know, it's a, it's a cute little trick. Simple transpo routine. Nothing big. Uh, not much to say about it either. You know, it's just one of those things. Like, it's... It, it's I, I think it's a cool entry trick like you know if you're gonna start doing something to somebody and you happen to have an extra card around it could be something cool but if you're just gonna do it with two decks laying around you know whatever but if you're out I highly doubt you're just gonna pull out another deck to take out a card I don't I, you know a little far-fetched well the flashy moves at the beginning were a lot of shuffles and cuts right so he was trying to He's trying to lay into your head that it is mixed up and random, right? But let me ask you, this was an old, um, actually not old, but I, I saw David Williamson say this once in uh, Magic Farm, right? So he the, the trick is called Funner Color Stunner, and it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's his variation of Color Stunner by Paul Harris. And in uh, color, color Stunner, you had a whole bunch of one card and then the deck of another. And on his, you only had one extra card. So one card did everything that Paul Harris did with a bunch of cards, right? And he was saying, you know, a lot of people, they tend to do stuff like this, right? Where they're, they're trying to prove that the card is, that the deck is something, right? But he goes, how many people, if I were to just pull out a deck of cards like that and do that, how many people would actually say, oh, I bet there's only one card that's that color and everything underneath, underneath is a different color? Nobody. Nobody would ever say that. So it's the same thing with this, right? If, I, if I'm just there and I pull out a deck of cards from the, de you know, from the box and I just put it down, how many people are just going to assume that the deck is stacked? Not many. Now, if they say it, then you can start doing the false shuffles and stuff. But realistically... Most of the things that we do as magicians with the false cuts and all that other stuff is for us. It's for us. It's not for the layman. It's for us. Jose Miguel, thank you for the sub, brother. So, let's take a minute and uh, let's just chat. Oh, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> uh, Reed, thank you for the for the sub, brother. Appreciate it. So, when you think about... Oh, Stefan Hammer with the sub. Thank you, sir. When you think about performing magic and doing magic I tend to, to look at a lot of other people I, I watch myself sometimes but I tend to watch other people to see things that I don't like uh, a lot of times I see performers doing things because they, they just kind of believe that they should be doing it and not because it actually helps anything or does anything so I think one of them is the idea of the magic motion, right? I think there's a place for it, but I don't think it's a place that should be very much in every trick. Excuse me, sorry. So, what I'm saying is, if I'm just going to have you pick a card, right? and then replace it into the deck and then I'm going to control this card 
why would I then start waving the deck and do it? Why not just stay here? Nobody really believes that by casting a shadow, right, something is going to happen. Right? Like, that's just what we say about it. But nobody really believes that this thing is really happening. Andar and Jonas, thank you for the subs, guys. Right? It's us fooling ourselves that, you know, we believe that if we cast a shadow, that the deck will be put back in order or something. Like, really? really? They're, not, they're not buying it. And it kind of makes you look bad. You know, you fall into the trap of being that typical magician guy. So just something to think about. All right, so let's do ooh, let's do one more. Why not? basic ass matrix i think this is the perfect one to end on when somebody says basic ass matrix for sure dude. for sure <laughs> oh, i love it <laughs> i'm just doing music All right, I already see a problem. All right, does anybody else see a problem already? Anybody else? Come on. Come on, you guys are here. What problems do you see so far? Second hand. Frame the camera. Uh, not The camera framing isn't, you know, it's whatever. Right. So, Nightmare, Patrick, right. Bend the cards. <laughs> That's exactly it. That is exactly it. All of these cards are floating. And this one isn't. <laughs> this, this card has the thinnest coin. <laughs> I always love stuff like this. So yeah, bend the cards. And it's super easy to do, and it will actually help you pick up the coin easier if you bend the cards. But you see what I'm saying? Look. See, this one is flat. This one is immediately hovering. <laughs> this is this is the thinnest coin. <laughs> All right. Bam. Okay. Bam. Okay. And that's it. He just turned it over. He's like, screw life. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> he didn't even try to make it bad. He's just like, yeah, it's gone. That's it. <laughs> One, two, three. Yep. No, whatever. It's gone. <laughs> Right. 
try to put this in frame here. Okay. So, from an overhead camera, can you tell that there's a coin under here or not? You can't, right? But from every other angle, you can. From every other angle, you can tell that this card is above the, the mat, right? So, he's got the grip. All you have to do is bend, bend the cards. So you, you go to peel this, that's one, and you this is bent now, right? So you, and you've stolen the coin, right? Now you go two, three, right? Or you place it wherever you want, three, and then four. And from here, it's pretty simple. So you come to here, you show this coin, you come down, and now as you pick up, boom, right? And there's another way to do this too. So you, you'll see people, they'll do this, right? So they go here, right, like this. And then they'll drop this one, and they'll snap the card. So that's one. Now they come up, and they do this, right? Now from the back, what you'll do, what you'll do is this. You'll come here, and you'll just transfer this coin over, Okay. And now you can place this down. Now, if you want, you can do the same thing. You can pick up the coin, you come down to here, and now it jumps. Right? And now that's three. And then if you want, you can just do the last one. Done. Uh, and then there's kickback routines and all this other stuff, right? So you could do that as well. But start by bending the cards a little bit. I think that's step one. Otherwise, just keep doing it, man. Get smoother at it. And uh, the last card, try to do something funky with it. Like, it'll just be like, whatever. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I that, that actually made me laugh. Because, <laughs> you know, you have these elegant moments, right? You have these elegant moments where you know, the coin is jumping, the coin is jumping, and then you just turn over the card, you're like, whatever. <laughs> kind of kind of a meta joke, but whatever. Bam. Look at that. Who gave me that idea? That was so smart. Let me see. Anything else? Okay, I think that's it. So guys, uh, can you give us some tips on don't making spread messy when doing, okay, some tips, uh, just keep your pinkies at the bottom of the deck. That's all you have to do. Just keep your pinkies at the bottom. Um, yeah, so guys, if you, you know, I appreciate you coming to hang out, smash that thumbs up if you like what's going on here. I will be streaming later tonight on Twitch, so you guys can go follow me on Twitch. The links, uh, for that will be in the description below. So you can go to Twitch TV backslash Xavier underscore spade. And... That's pretty much it. I appreciate all of you coming to hang out. Uh, let me see if there's any other questions quickly. No. Appreciate that you're streaming. Yeah, I'm playing Overwatch. I'm having fun with it. How shocking was Linda when she did Raise Rise? I don't know. Ask her. She's right there. She literally just typed in the chat. What's the trick that I most like to perform lately? I've been doing a lot of cell phone tricks, man. I like tricks that happen on the phone or in other people's um, phones and stuff. 
And, and then when I do sleight of hand stuff, you know, Rage Rise is always there and some other things that I do. But I really enjoy the cell phone things lately. That, uh, the turn of watch thing is fun. <laughs> I love that. And yeah. So, I'm done. I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate all of you coming to hang out. Go follow me on Twitch. I'll be streaming later tonight. I'm going to be playing some games. You can ask me questions there, as always. Uh, and I stream there more than anything. Next week, I'll be at Magi Fest. So, if you're in Columbus, Ohio next week, I will be there. And uh, I'll probably do another fixture trick next Tuesday because I leave Wednesday. So, Tuesday, I'll probably do another one. And that'll be it for that week. So, guys, thank you so much for coming to hang out. I'll see you guys in the next video. A peace out. Thank you.